Suppose you have rooted your Android device and you want to install a custom ROM or basically you have already installed a custom ROM and you want to change that. Then you need a backup app. You have a lot of options already available. One of the quite famous one is Swift Backup. But we already have an alternative available that is Data Backup. I guess I made a video already on the previous versions but this is a new update and we have some changes so make sure to watch this video till the end. This is data backup so in case you are using kernel SU you have to grant root permission manually. If you are using magis then you will get the you will get the pop up regarding to grant the root permission. So after granting all the root permission and notification permissions etc you have to select the backup directory by default it is in the internal storage media zero data backup etc you can also change it in case you want to you also have some configurations which can enable or disable we'll just skip it and now we are here at the home page this is what we have in my personal opinion the ui is quite better as compared to swift backup and i'm just talking about the ui functions we'll find out later on First of all, as you can see in this new UI, we have some more options available. As you can see, block, freeze, launch, these options were not available in the previous update when I made video last time regarding this Android app. You have a lot of options available. You can freeze this app. You also have the option to block or you can, uh, you can add it, add this app to the blacklist. So for example, if I want to take a backup of this Android app, as you can see, we have this app available. The size is 65 MB. You can also choose if you want to take a backup to the cloud storage or if you want to choose the local storage. If you want to choose a cloud storage, you have four providers, FTP, WebDAV, SMB, CIFS or SFTP. Unfortunately, there is no direct integration integration with Google Drive yet so far. Maybe in future, but for now, we do not have the support for Google Drive at all. So you have to choose local backup in case you don't want to choose a cloud option. Although these cloud options are free as compared to Swift backup. So for example, we just chosen this app named as Bloom. This is actually a music player. And you can, you can see after clicking all these things, it is, it is done. Backup is completed. You can also visit details for more information regarding if you get any kind of error or anything which is missing from here. As you can see, everything seems fine. Everything seems fine. As you can see, everything is done. OBB folder, it doesn't even exist. So as you can see, it, it, it is saying not exist and skip. So it's quite good and good enough. Let's talk about the restore process. The backup was quite simple. So if we take, if you want to restore this now, as you can see, we have one apps backed up, files and reload, etc. Clicking on that app and you can also choose if you want to install only app or everything else. As you can see, APK, user, data or everything, it's totally up to you. So for example, by default, we have all these six options available by clicking on this option, clicking on this. As you can see, we have the option to choose the user also. So for example, if you're using multiple users on a device, this could be a very useful thing for you. You can simply take a backup from one user, you can simply transfer it to or you can, you, you can restore that on the other user, other profile and in case you use work profile, this could be a great option for the users like you. Other than else, as you can see, the, things are looking quite simple and the restoration process was actually quite good, fast enough because this is an open source Android app. You expect this to work perfectly fine for you. It is working fine. This is data backup we have. This is a new update we have. So in case you use, if you have rooted your Android device, if you change custom rooms frequently and you want to take a backup of apps, including data, for example, these files, you can also take a backup of. You can take the backup of an APK file. You can take the backup of many things. This is a great thing for you. In case you're wondering about how to install this thing, this is just an APK file. So you can get this directly from the link below. Everything else is just similar. So if you want to try it out on a device, link is already there in the description. If you like this video, make sure to like this one. Also, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe the channel for more rooted Android apps videos, for more custom ROM videos and so on. Thanks for watching.